Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boodoo. As we head into the fall, it's the time of year when conventions and meetings start rolling into town and becoming a big part of our tourist traffic. About 750,000 people attend events at the Miami Beach Convention Center each year. The venue says its economic impact is the third largest in Miami-Dade County after the airport and the seaport. My guest today is Bob Balsam, who's the general manager of the Miami Beach Convention Center. Bob, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. So first, let's start with just obviously this is a really terrible time for tourism and the industry in general. What's it looking like for meetings coming to the convention center this fall? 2009 has been a very tough year for us all, but 2010 is going to be a more productive year because the industry is basically flatlined. And our economists in the industry have said that uh, we're not looking for an upswing until the end of 2010. But there are some shows now that realize that the one-to-one -one contact is necessity is a necessity in the industry. So we're seeing our bookings go up. As a matter of fact, we're looking at about three million dollars worth of business in the convention center for 2010. And are you looking at also other business other than meetings coming to the convention center? Absolutely. We look, always look at trade shows. Trade shows help the economy as far as giving people something to do during the weekends. We're looking at a lot of corporate events. We're still going through the AIG effect. But I think a lot of corporate people see Miami as not the total resort community, but they do see it as a place to bring the family for a vacation as well as interact with their business colleagues. You mentioned the AIG effect. That's, of course, when President Obama made those statements last mm -hmm. year about lavish kind of events in Las Vegas. And that's had a huge impact on the convention and trade, you know, the meetings industry in Las Vegas. What kind of impact has it had here, and what are you doing to counteract that? It really hasn't had an impact here. It's going to have an impact, like I say, in Las Vegas, in those areas that are considered resorts town, resort towns. We're basically what we like to consider a paradise, where you can get a lot of business done, but you can also enjoy a vacation. Um, I think one thing that people forget to look at in the AIG incident was that what business was conducted actually at the event. And of course, anytime you go to a meeting, you go to any type of convention, trade show, even a public show, there are times when after the business is conducted, you have to have that time to relax, regroup, and go back again and get ready for the next day. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your insights. Thank you. That was the Miami Beach Convention Center's Bob Balsam. Last year, 6,000 people visited the convention center for the Miami International Wine Fair. The eighth annual show is on September 26th and 27th. Proceeds from general admission ticket sales will be donated to charity. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boodoo.